Hey guys, still here. Welcome back. Episode 42. Previous, we went after a lost compound where Advent had somehow sent up a transmitter. Uh, it's a weird placement, as far as I'm concerned. They didn't defend it with troopers at all, and we ended up with 40 lost kills. Very, very easy mission. Um, in the meanwhile, we're trying to just get some more supplies so we can build another radio relay over here. And considering I just took 200 supplies from the mission that we just completed, I can now actually go and build that thing earlier than I had initially planned. In the meanwhile, we're doing some research on the psionic gate, seeing what that is and how we can use it. And sometime in the next mission, I'm going to have to try and skulljack a codex. Here's the psionic gate operation. Hate to do this, but it's the only one who can pull this off. You know, I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Yeah, because that doesn't look weird at all. We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through. Okay? Don't you love it how all these screens are displaying something that seems to be entirely irrelevant to the current operation? Are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. It doesn't look like any place we've been before. Well, that's not actually true. It looks like the sarcophagus area. Alright, off you go. did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. Pour over. Okay. I don't think we have any other operations going on for the Shadow Chamber other than the Black Site. And considering virtually all research is done, we're basically going to have to speed up that search for a codex and try to get that done ASAP. Oh nice, a facility lead and a promotion to Colonel Daniel Freed. Uh, what else do we have for covert operations? We can get a resistance order. Enemies drop additional loot items. Oh really? I like that. We can boost soldier aim. Um, if we want soldier aim on anybody, it's going to be a grenadier to just level up their aim. Which is generally not that good. Or we're going to have to go with a sharpshooter. Uh, not Walter. 112 aim for a sharpshooter is, well, more than enough. Uh, how about you, Ian? 112. Oba. Yeah, let's send in Oba and uh, Adrian. We can spend some intel. We have... well, we have a moderate amount. There you go. Now let's put through the promotion for Daniel. I mean, this guy has gone on 15 missions so far. He deserves it. He can learn Rupture or Saturation Fire. Saturation Fire of these two I find to be the more valuable one. Because it hits everything. This hits just one thing. 
that immediately starts taking additional damage from all attacks in the future, but most of the time I do so much damage to one target already that I don't need Rupture. Saturation Fire can, if you have enough ammo, just wipe out one pod in one go. And we have a lot of dodge for this guy, which is not really what I need. Alright, carry on. Alright, Spark Heavy Weapon Storage. This probably means that they can now carry two of the loadout. So, two heavy weapons. Um, how about a Wraith Suit? Or actually, I would like Nano Muscle Fibers. Mm, it's gonna cost me 60 supplies. I'm just a little short. Not even that much. Give me another experimental ammo. Venom rounds, perfect. We could go for a second Skulljack. Uh, we could go for blue screen protocol. It's gonna give me additional damage. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna go with anything just yet. I'm gonna save my supplies for when I can actually get to 60. Alright, negative traits have been removed. She now knows Soulfire, uh, Schism. Signal's coming through clear. 91 supplies. And we still need to build a second one, which is expensive, because then we get instant collection of supply drops. Which is valuable, it's just not terribly valuable. And I built that radio relay mostly so we can speed up our progress on uh, getting contact with South America. That's the plan. Sustain, it doesn't really matter what she learns. Oh, hang on, the bond level training is complete. That's good, because we still have a few bond people waiting for another bonding session. Ivan... Alright, supplies, and we have another mission. What do you want me to do? 201 supplies and 80 intel. 80 intel only if we carry the target home, of course. Now what we can expect here is elite officers, purifiers, troopers, gatekeepers, and a codex, so we're definitely gonna bring along a Skulljack. The Archon Sentinel, the Elite Assault, the Heavy Anti-Riot Mech. That's something new. Okay. We're not going to take the uh, less experienced troopers like we did previous. That worked out because it was only a mission of lost and we got a few nice promotions there. But against something along the lines of gatekeepers, we're going to need some increased firepower. Yeah, yeah, I know we need to be able to carry somebody. Um, who are we going to have hack a, a codex? Preferably someone with a lot of mobility, so we can rush up to them. I'm thinking Charlie would be appropriate. Not so much for the hacking, but for the, the skull jacking just for a start. Because his mobility is 15. Now the question is really, does he ever have a chance to... Oh, yes. <laughs> a compa compatibility of 10. He really... I was going to say likes apple pie, but he really likes Nikita. So you're going to get along on this mission. Although his willpower is not too high. There is that. Ah, screw it. He'll be fine. Next. Uh, we have Colonel Mox, I think. Let's train up. Where are you? you there you are, Yoko. And Yoko comes with... Oh, with another sharpshooter. I don't like that much. Yoko and Leo. Oh, it's possible. Especially if we get the improved weapon there. That'll help. And then for the last one, I'm going to say a specialist, just to keep everything functioning. And yes, I know my spark is damaged, but he's down to 14 out of 15 hit points, so he'll be fine. I'm not worried about him. How about Anastasia? She's a really good combat hacker. Alright, weapon-wise... 
Uh, your accuracy at 76 is pretty good. Doesn't leave much that we need to improve. So you're going to get the Disruptor Rifle. Do some additional damage against codices and stuff like that. Nano Medikit. And the other one... I'm not going to give her the Skulljack, though. Um, I'm going to say Venom Rounds. Colonel. I want your loadout to include a Skulljack. I also want it to include the Arashi. I want the Katana. And I want to make sure that you get those critical hits in. So you're going to get Talon Rounds. And we're going to have to do something about the way that you look. Because this is still weird. Legs. There. Now he looks like a proper breacher. Um, we could, by the way, give him the 32 dodge. Why not? He's a frontline operative. He's likely to get shot at. So he might as well be able to handle that. Now, for this spark... I think that we're going to see two charges for this weapon. So I'm going to use the Shredder Gun. Uh, the other one, a Mimic Beacon. Yeah, why not? Templar. I'm going to give you the Hazmat Vest, so you can run right into trouble if you have to. Oh, right, we couldn't mod these pistols. Damn it. Fine. Uh, other Sharpshooter. I want you to get... Dark Lance, as well as Dark Claw. For some reason, I always keep these things together. As for your weapon addition, let's go for Dragon Rounds. Look at that, aim of 107. Mimic Beacon, in case shit hits the fan and we need an escape. A Lure Beacon. That was handy last time. It's not going to be particularly handy this time. Let's go with another manamet <laughs> with another nano medikit. Words. Oh shit. Um there's one thing that could be a problem. And that is that I don't have a grenadier, so I cannot shred armor. Except for the shredder gun. Hmm. We'll make do. I might regret this, but I hope that with the Shredder Gun, the Spark, and the extreme damage output from our Ranger, we can punch through most of the armor. At least with enough damage output that we can kill the thing that's behind the armor. That's going to remain to be seen. Let's just try it. Also some of these operatives, or well, one of them is wounded, the spark. Although, 14 out of 15, he'll, he'll live. And my sharpshooter is down to 39 out of 50 willpower. Meaning that if he gets hurt, if I make him move too much, if I burn out his willpower too much, he could pick up a negative trait. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. Now, Bradford, over to you. The Resistance has been after an alien collaborator for some time now. And they finally got a solid lead on their location. They're asking for our help in ensuring the target is dealt with. So we're moving to neutralize all hostile forces standing in your way. If possible, capture the VIP alive. Now, we know from the Shadow Chamber that there's only nine operatives on this mission. So they're not that numerous, but the ones that are there are probably quite deadly. There's the codex up on the roof. And there's the extraction point. We also got another... what are you, a Lancer? Yep, Elite Lancer. And he, yep, heavy weapon storage, two shredder guns. Because why the hell not? Viking. Yep. Nothing there. Keep pushing. Nope. Looks pretty quiet. I can put somebody up on the roof, but I think that we're quickly going to see some longer range fighting. So I'm more likely to use this roof instead. Nikita.
Yoko immediately starts out with one level of focus, which is a nice bonus because it means she gets to use some of these abilities if she has to. As you direct. Leo, team up with your bond mate, Anastasia, and my Lancer over there. Leaves me with the spark. Uh, park yourself behind that statue, or whatever it is. Art of some sort? I don't know. Somebody once said, whatever you don't understand is probably art. Ever since I heard that, I understood there's a lot of art in the world. Or what some people may describe as art. What do we have? We have a lot of different high-value targets. We have one gatekeeper with no less than six points of armor. We have a turret, and I saw two codices right on the roof. Now let's make sure that we're ready for a party with these things. Please don't tell me there's something else on this roof. That would be unfortunate. Okay. There is something else on this roof. How are we going to approach that? I think Yoko could go. Leo with a 53? Oh, you, what are you shooting at? A gatekeeper. Hmm. Get up here. Now I have some time, but I don't have a lot of time. I only have 11 turns to get this thing done. So I will need to keep pushing. At least decently. Uh, spark. Get ready to jump onto the roof. Viking, you're going to have to hold one turn until we're ready. I don't want to rush this. Oh, you guys coming down? Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Because now you're easy pickings. And you? You're not moving. Fine. Um, ooh, tricky. I'm not sure if this is going to get me detected or not. Try it. Don't get your ass detected, please. Ooh, good, he didn't. Mm. We have the other sharpshooter up here as well, Leo. Leo, go over there. We're going to set up this ambush. In case that these guys want to party already, I'm going to set my other guys up on overwatches. I don't expect them to engage already. But better safe than dead. Uh, unfortunately, there's no further tiles for you to hide behind. There, here... That's no good. Park behind the spark. Saves you two tiles. No, no, no. Be very, very careful when using those types of operatives, because they have their overwatch and fire buttons mixed. It wouldn't be the first time that that got me into trouble. Pistol overwatch. Now let's see where these guys are headed. Just moving around. Unaware of any danger. Exactly where I want them. Alright. Let's get this party started. Uh, with... A dead eye shot. I can get a lot of damage on a super heavy turret. I can pretty much guarantee to take out pure fire. You don't have AP rounds, do you? No, you got dragon rounds. The elite officer is toast. But maybe it would be better to open up with Shredstorm Cannon if we have range. Which right now we do not. Alternatively, I could run in with uh, Charlie and just wipe out one, get Bladestrom on the other two. That would make him implacable um, and untouchable. Yeah, I think that would work a little better. Now, the question is, do these guys still have that reflex, that Overwatch thing? I think not. 
No, I think we're fine. Um, how are we going to do this? I'm going to put the snipers in Overwatch. Both of them. I'm going to keep you in reserve. You're going to move up to this tile. You're going to be pretty aggressive, probably. Potentially stun something that gets in the way. And then we have the Spark, and we have Yoko. Alright, let's go. Start chopping some shit to bits here. Elite Trooper, I want you to attack from over there. Have at it. We've been detected. Oh, great. No surprise there. One down. Eight to go. Which I think the turret is not one of, so the turret is a bit of an extra kill. There's the Bladestorm kicking in. Damage. He didn't detonate. You're dead. Okay, so that's the first three kills of the mission. That's one pod down. Now it's time for the Codices to join the fray. Overwatch shot. Mm, some damage, but most of it got absorbed by the armor, of course. No surprise. Tur just woke up. Okay. Now, my prime target is this one, because I want to keep these guys alive for skulljacking. So, in order to do that, I'm going to have to get a little closer. I'm going to have to try and get some shots on these guys. They probably won't be particularly deadly. Actually, maybe transferring this action would be better. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to move up. And, oh, invert. We could beam over there. Um, no. I think you might be in a position to immediately wipe out one of the codices. Well, sort of. Eh, it's close. 99 on the turret. 81 on the codex. Go kill it. I just want one codex alive. Shit. No shit. Alright, we still have some operators left. Cyber. What's over there? Can you hack the turret for me? Oh, you don't have hacking abilities. Yes, that makes it a bit different. Spark. Get over here. Oh, by the way, I have three of my guys lined up here. That's a bit risky. Because that could mean that this thing is going to get all sorts of wrong ideas and plant one of those psionic bombs there. I don't like that much. You can't see it? Well, that's pretty shitty. Um, if we move over there, we can see everything. It is going to come to some cost to the spark. But at least then I could do some damage. Up you go. I hope that this goes right over your head, which it sorta of does. Not if you're over there. Uh, in which case, I'm gonna move you over yeah, yeah. here. You're untouchable anyway. And we're just gonna focus on that thing over there. Shit, I did move him to a wrong tile. Okay. Just this one, then. Try not to waste the VIP while you're at it. Rainmaker, three damage. I uh, still got a lot of armor. I hope this is enough damage output. Oh, you missed? Oh, Cyber. Oh, you get a hair trigger. You can try again. <laughs> Lucky. If it hits. Poison, 7 damage, no crit. That's unusual. Okay, the Stun Lancer. You're going to have to take some of the heat. 
I'm gonna intentionally perk you out in the open. And let's try and do some damage against... Oh, I don't know. That Codex? Yeah, well, that was a half a Codex kill. <laughs> we did gain an ability point. Lovely. Now, what are they gonna do? What is your next plan of attack? He's opening up. And, uh-oh. Five damage to the spark. And he just reanimated three of his buddies. Which the spark might engage with close quarters combat protocol. <laughs> Beams over twice, sure. Psionic bomb, there it is. That's the snipers out of action. No, just one of them, maybe. You're engaging. Probably trying for the ranger, who's untouchable. What? How are you not untouchable? You just got a kill. Okay, that lightning rod worked. He probably gets a second shot, and that second shot misses. How did this guy... I don't get that. Um, I'm very tempted to just move this guy back and whack him. You know what? Why not? That's what we have the spark for. That's what we have the shred storm cannon for. Or the shredder gun. We might... Can we get the turret as well? Pixel hunting here. No. Alright, fine. Just these three then. Loot destroyed. <clears throat> That's the least of my worries. Gatekeeper's dead. That's the most important thing here. Let's go skulljacking. Positions are terrible. Alright, we're gonna skulljack this one. Hey, how about that? Hello. Unauthorized network access. And now we're gonna see an interesting target. Not quite visible yet. Alright, you're outside the blast range of that psionic bomb. That's good. You do have a pistol, but you can only fire once. Would this work? Elite Lancer versus half a codex? Oh, yes, it works. It definitely works. Now we can take out the turret. All right, turret is dead. dead. Let's move you outside of the uh, engagement range here. We move you over here, you can fire a pistol shot and you can kill the other codex. There you are. All right, so that's the codex is dead. By my count, that leaves us with three targets left on this mission. That's all that there should be. Get over here, pick it up. Oh, shit. I forgot that we have an avatar coming in. So she's getting focus, but she's right vulnerable to everything here. This is going to be interesting. Cyber, I'm going to have to ask you to deliver that combat protocol to profit. Because if I had a chance to engage either Prophet or the Spark, I would probably choose Prophet. Less armor, an easier target. And Overwatch. Overwatch. Didn't hurt anything. It appears to be capable of repairing its physical wounds. 
We haven't even seen it yet, dude. There it is. I believe we are seeing something entirely new. Meet the Avatar. He... What? You think that's a good position? Wow. Okay. If you do... Then you're just making this very easy. We can vault him for 9 to 12. Let's have the spark fire at him first. Just to strip away some of the armor. The spark is going to need some repairs, by the way. There you go, armor's done. And just like a codex, these things can beam around real quick. But that puts them right in the sight of one of my snipers. Aim. Fire. He's burning. That should knock out some of his abilities. And he's down to one hit point. Right there, you're not too safe either, son. Oh shit, you already moved. Um, <laughs> I could have an elite lancer take him out. That would be a bit of a shame. Rent doesn't work on him? Oh, really? Well, I suppose it's possible. You know what? I'm going to make this easy. I'm just gonna whip him with a pistol. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Bye bye. If you let those things live for too long, you're gonna regret it. A lot. They're quite deadly. Let's take up position with the spark. Viking. I need you to move up a little bit, but not too far, because there's still three enemies in the map. In the map. In the map. On the mission, and we don't quite know where they are. They have to keep moving. From over here, we can overwatch the entire square and have a look at anything that might start to approach. Okay, nothing there. Viking, this is not your job. This is going to be Cyber's job. Go, go, go. Having a chat with our VIP. Dark VIP, in this case. Scout right with the Lancer. Nothing there. Can I have my sharpshooters in Overwatch? Uh, you have more than enough focus, so we don't need to capture the last bit of it. Got them. This is why I put my sharpshooters in Overwatch. These things have a new color scheme. Missed. Hit. Burning. What about those two? I don't like the looks of these. What? Okay. That's a neat trick. I'll stop doing it. Um... Let's try Vault. I know she's out in the open, but we have a plan for that. It didn't jump. Unfortunately. I'm going to give them something even more tempting to shoot at. The Elite Lancer. And we can go and bash the VIP, or one of these things, the Assault. But I'm actually more interested in deploying a Mimic Beacon. Just to make sure that these guys do, in fact, go for something else. Then my operatives, which are... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which are quite out in the open. Alright, Viking. Viking does not really have a good position to fire at these guys. I mean, it's decent, but it's not stellar. get quite a bit of damage in on the mech. If we hit, yep, we do hit. 
I wonder what that what other tricks that mech has. I'm not too eager to find out. Let's see what he can do. You can bash. Well, that's nothing new. Oh shit, don't kill it. He killed it. That means that the mech is now free to engage whatever he likes. What's he gonna go for? A general long-range grenade attack. D disoriented? That's new. Okay. Right, we're gonna have to deal with these things fast. We can skull mine one of them. <laughs> no, I'm not interested in skull mining much. Get this thing out of the way. Got him. Advanced scope, thank you kindly. And since you're now implacable, I can park you between these two, if I need to. Which I don't yet. Why can I not... Uh-huh. That would explain that. So this guy fired some sort of fancy flashbang at us. You're dead. And you're the last man standing. How do you like that? 100%. Dead eye. Can we get the dead eye shot on this one? Hell yeah, we can. Kill number nine. All targets are down. DFA, so we can move. Let's knock out our VIP. Our Lancer doesn't really have to do anything at the moment. Wow, dies in fashion. Carry. Actually, he's not dead, of course. He's knocked out. Moving. Lancer on Overwatch. I'm not sure why, but you never know. And where's my other sharpshooter? Apple pie. Start to make our way to the extraction point. Ooh, the spark got another upgrade. Nice. You have an extra move available. Right. Let's use it then. Aha. Uh -huh. And this is why you use overwatches, because they're not quite done. Oh, my sharpshooter's moving first, because they still have the longest way to go. Uh, cyber, run to the extraction point, just get away with the VIP. The spark and my ranger can probably deal with anything that comes down this way. Make sure you're fully reloaded. Make sure you leave the map. The elite Lancer can stay behind. Viking. Nikita. We can get Nikita out already. Mm, yeah, leave. We can put Yoko over here on Overwatch. Viking. Hmm. I don't really know. I mean, I could put him over there with the blade storm. Uh, let's go. But he doesn't need to get all the kills. So let's hope that he doesn't. We're gonna have to spread around the XP a little bit. I'm seeing a priest. I'm seeing a stun lancer or an assault or something. Times two. And that's it. Go on then. Oh, we could bladestorm basically all of them, with the exception of the priest. Go on. Bladestorm. That's one dead. Especially in tandem with our spark. Apparently he got the kill, but the game didn't quite understand the animation there. CCP. There we go. He's dead. A close quarters protocol is really handy. And the blade storm took care of the last one. Easy. Alright, time to get going. Your is 
We had our fun with Advent. Took some scratches while we were doing it, by the way. Let's get going. Evac, evac, evac the Lancer for whatever reason. It's not like we can get him on the next mission. Alright, that's all of them. Up and away. Let's take a mission photo. And, uh... Nothing too special. Pretty sure I saw that on an album cover decades ago. Oh, you did, did you? Then why is the alien threat still here? You wanna explain that? Anyway, we have a promotion. Potentially for the spark. That might be... Uh, the one that gets the repair. I think it is at that level. And then other upgrades that we can get, or other promotions that we can get. Um, I'm hoping for Yoko, but she barely did any damage this mission. So her promotions are not terribly likely. And then the question is, uh, what kind of research can we now do with the Avatar. Okay, welcome back home. Spark's a bit messed up, but otherwise alright. We have immediately a bond available between these two guys, so let's go for that. Spark gets promotion. Uh, intimidate... Oh, we don't have to repair one yet. Wrecking Ball or Intimidate. Um, I'm going to go Wrecking Ball, just because it's fun. And then we have a promotion for you to Captain. Covering Fire, Threat Assessment, Covering Fire. Avatar Corpse, Advanced Scope, and a Codex Brain. And we have our VIP recovered. Seems a bit pissed about that. Hello, Commander. A lot of supplies, a lot of intel. And we just neutralized three points of the Avatar project. And I suddenly have enough to go and buy some new stuff in this section. Unfortunately, I don't have two Archon corpses. I don't have a Berserker corpse. Uh, what I do have is Automated Threat Assessment. Um, nanomuscle fibers. Make them more maneuverable. And then for the next one... A spark portable one. Yeah, why not? Alright, and that's going to conclude the episode. Do it. Bit of a firefight there. Spark firing twice with his advanced weapon. And doing a lot of damage in the process. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you soon for the next one. Out probably tomorrow. See you then.